Hey friends, welcome back to Kids Short Stories. Did you know that we have a ton of really fun activities for you to do? Head on over to heymrjim.com and look for activities for kids. This is where we turn our Kids Animal Stories podcast into real life. So after learning about an animal, we give you an activity or an art project to complete in real life. It is really cool. So make sure that you check it out right after this episode. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too. Let's go. Our story begins in the middle of the night while Jackson was fast asleep. Wait a second. Jackson is not a cat. He's a real person. But, oh, that was the sound of his kitty, Fluffy, sleeping right next to him. Fluffy was like the greatest kitty ever. She was playful and nice loved to snuggle, and loved to be picked up in Jackson's arms. Every single night, when Jackson would grab his comfy blankets and curl up in bed, Fluffy was already there waiting. Wow, what a great kitty. Do you guys have a pet that you love to snuggle up with? Ooh, snuggly pets are very fun. Maybe it's a stuffed animal, but maybe it is a real creature. It's great to have something to snuggle up to in bed. All of a sudden, Fluffy heard something and sat her head up and looked around. On the floor, there was a red dot, like a red laser dot. Have you ever seen a cat chase around a laser on the floor? (laughs) They go absolutely wild for that thing. They think, I don't know exactly what they think, but Fluffy thought it was some kind of bug a red glowing bug that she just had to grab. So she jumped out of bed and started chasing that laser around. Zoom, zoom. She was zooming all around Jackson's bedroom. Wait a second. Who is playing that laser game with her? Because Jackson's fast asleep. And if I know anything about lasers and those red dots that you play with kitties, somebody has to be waving the other side of that laser. Well, that is where our story takes a turn for the worse. The laser was guiding Fluffy all the way through the house. Because, like, wherever the laser went, Fluffy was very close behind. But that laser was guiding her all the way over to the cat door. Have you ever seen a cat door on, like, the door to a house? So that the cat or a dog could run through the door without someone having to open the door? Yeah, Fluffy had one of those, and the laser led her right outside. Oh no, this is starting to feel like some kind of trap. Look out, Fluffy! It was at that moment that Fluffy had finally captured that laser dot. As she pounced on it with her paws extended, ah, she finally felt like she had captured it. But unfortunately, that laser was actually a trap. As the laser touched her paws, something crazy happened. As Fluffy started to feel very strange, she started to grow and grow and grow until, holy smokes, Fluffy had turned into a ginormous dinosaur. Fluffy looked down at her paws, which had now turned into claws, the claws of a T-Rex, And she was very afraid, afraid of herself. And she ran into the forest. The next morning, (sighs) Jackson woke up out of bed and was surprised to not see Fluffy there. Fluffy, uh, Fluffy, where'd you go? Shouted Jackson. Fluffy was not only a very fun kitty, but a pretty sleepy, lazy kitty as well. It was strange for her to have gotten out of bed before Jackson. Well, Jackson didn't think much of it and got out of bed and came downstairs for breakfast. He poured a delicious bowl of kitty food into her dish, which always brought Fluffy over. Wherever she was, (laughs) she could always hear her food hitting her bowl. And this is where Jackson started to realize that something was wrong. She did not come. Fluffy! Fluffy, shouted Jackson, but nothing. 
He even tried meowing, and that didn't work either. Jackson quickly ate his breakfast and put on his shoes and walked outside to the backyard. Maybe she went outside, said Jackson. Holy smokes, what is that? As Jackson stood in his backyard, he did not see Fluffy, but he saw some ginormous footprints in the mud in the the wet part of the grass over there. What in the world was... Are these real footprints? There's no way those are real footprints. They're like as big as I am, said Jackson as he jumped down into the hole that those footprints had created. Oh no, maybe there's some giant creature out here and it must have scared Fluffy away. I've got to call this into HQ. He ran inside and grabbed his walkie-talkie and called into HQ. HQ, HQ, come in. This is Jackson, over. Jackson, what seems to be the problem? Over. I don't exactly know what's going on, but one, my cat is missing, and two, there's giant footprints in my backyard, and they must be connected somehow. Do you know anything about, like, I know it sounds crazy, but dinosaurs in the area? Over. Funny you should mention it. I just got off a call with another agent who had seen a dinosaur in the forest. I wonder if that's connected somehow. Well, uh, you do some uh, research and and investigate the area. Let us know anything that you find along the way. Over. Jackson ran inside to get his cat treats because there's kind of two missions at hand. One, he's got to find Fluffy. And two, what in the world is a dinosaur doing out there? Little does he know that those are actually the same mission. (laughs) As he carried his bag of cat tricks out to the backyard and to the forest, he knew that Fluffy could never turn down one of her delicious treats. All right, I'm going to make a trail here and surely Fluffy will smell them and come running. And then I'll be able to save her from whatever creature that is out there. Jackson started to leave behind a trail of cat treats, hoping that that would attract Fluffy. Well, that's exactly what was about to happen, and boy, was he in for a big surprise. Meow! Meow! (gasps) Is that Fluffy? Off in the distance, Jackson could hear meowing, and he took off running as fast as he could, throwing cat treats along the way just in case and it would make it easier for Fluffy to smell them. But then, all of a sudden, he heard a big sound. Boom, boom, boom. The ground shook, and Jackson dove for cover. That's gotta be a giant dinosaur or something. Oh, no! Fluffy, run! It's not safe! shouted Jackson. And that is when he saw the giant dinosaur. It's a real dinosaur, said Jackson. How in the world did I get into a land of dinosaurs? Oh no, Fluffy's going to be so scared. And then he watched that giant T-Rex kneel down to the ground and eat the cat treats off the ground. And then it started. Is that a purring dinosaur? Fluffy, is that you? And just then, the dinosaur looked right up at Jackson. Meow. Jackson could not believe it. His mouth was hanging wide open. His eyes were as big as sausages and... (gasps) Holy smokes. Fluffy, what happened to you? As soon as she had swallowed the cat treats, something amazing started to happen. She started to transform back into a kitty. Jackson couldn't believe it. It's a good thing that he saw it for himself or else he never would have believed it. But it seems to be the cat treats. It's like as soon as she ate the cat food, she turned back into a cat. Jackson grabbed his walkie-talkie. He had to let HQ know. HQ! Oh, I have a big update. Are you there? This is Jackson. Over. Jackson, what's the update? Over. Well... I found the dinosaur, and it seems to actually have been my cat. Somehow my cat turned into a dinosaur, and then when I gave it cat treats, it turned back into a cat. Do you have any idea why it might have turned into a dinosaur? Over. 
Well, that's great news, and that's going to be very helpful for the other dinosaurs that our agents are seeing around the world. It seems to be connected to the Purple Ninjas as they're trying to turn all of our pets into dinosaurs. But what you have done is stop them once and for all. Great job, Jackson. Over. Wow, great job, Jackson. You saved (laughs) not only our whole world from dinosaurs, but all of our pets from being tricked by the Purple Ninjas. Holy smokes, none of us are safe. I thought it was just us. But now the purple ninjas are after our pets too? Oh dear, we have got to stick together and stop them before they do any more crazy things. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Jackson from Lake Wiley, South Carolina, Katrina and Kelsey from Wisconsin, Emery from Denver, Brandt from Colorado, Tobias and Raphael from Fort Worth, Texas, David from Michigan, Brazen from Iowa, and Finian and Stellan from Montreal. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family. And on our spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Will you have a super duper day? (laughs) I'll see you next time. Bye.